This idea to walk St. Laurent Street specifically, it just came to me just now. Oh, might as well show you an Ezra. Yeah, like I was saying, I just got this idea just in the metro just now to film this walk in the street because. Uh, well, you know, the big fucking W is coming soon there, and uh, that means I'll be able to film less of these walks. And uh, I just got a job too, so even if oh, it's part time, that means less time for video, uh, for filming. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully, if I'm correct, the wind is going to be at my back. We're right here. Right there. Saying that out. Anyway, we're going to see what we can do. Maybe worst case scenario, I'll put music or something. I don't know. And the escalators are broken. What a surprise. Or so it would seem. Oh, well. Station Saint Laurent. This area here is known as the Red Light District. Everything here and east of here on Saint Catherine Street. This is the Maisonneuve Boulevard right here. That's west. That's north. That's east. And I just remember, I just forgot there was an old 300ZX I wanted to film down that way. Ah, I guess I'll get to that one day. Oh yeah, there's these cool pipes that make noises. Oh, my ass makes noises too sometimes, like any of you, but it's no big deal, eh? <laughs> That's cool though. That's what it sounds like when the ships come in to dock in my area there, where I live near the port, or they leave. Man, I got the settings fucking perfect on this right now. Perfect. Hey, look at this. There's an IGA here now. Wow. You know, this used to be a vacant lot, but you know, in this city, every vacant lot's worth fucking fortune today, so we can't have that, you know. It's funny because I think I filmed a couple of walks in this area, this part of the street, but I think I was always, I seem to remember always being on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross here somewhere. <laughs> Look at that, what a fucking shame. One of many trees that got cut down because they had this, uh, uh, this tree disease. I always figure out what it's called. Fuck, we don't need less trees, we need more trees for Christ's sake. Wow, that's some serious rust proofing, eh? Yeah, of course, back in the day, prior to, uh, I don't know, prior to like 1960 around, early 60s, this used to be a two-way street actually, Saint Laurent. And of course, prior to 1960, you had a streetcar line as well. Very important, very crucial to this uh, area. Boy, there's a lot of people here. Of course, it's Friday night. Maybe that's one of the reasons why actually I came down here too, because I'm always looking to film those responses. Man, that's the fucking biggest boot I ever seen. That's good for business. I've got a vintage ad from the 40s that shows a sign and it's a vintage boot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm serious, but I don't remember the name of the company. Uh, How can I remember? I got thousands of, of vintage ads. Yeah, I like your gas pump too. Can I show that in my little video? Is that uh, okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, right on, man. I'm all about the old school, so. 
That's a real one, right? That's restored, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know a lot today, everything is this fake, no, this no, fake, no. that. Everything is real there. Right on. The, the there is a replica. The rest is, uh, is uh, original. How's business? Oh, I see. Good because the weather helps. So. Yeah, you're right. No, the weather is always everything. That's not something I knew when I was younger. You're right. Hey, have a good night, sir. Take care, eh? Take care. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Bye. Oh, look at that beautiful timing, the non-scrap that I like with the atrium building. That's what that really bright building is called. It changes colors like an old jukebox. Isn't that cool? Well, it's supposed to change colors. I, I don't know if the camera's making it look as good, though. It's supposed to go like red and green and stuff. It's not changing. Okay, so now that I got my jollies filming that bus with the atrium building there, which is right there. Oh, it changed color. It was blue before. So it should turn green, I think, after that, or yellow or something. It's really fucking cool. Don't expect to be able to use a bathroom in there, though. <laughs> I like how I just slipped that in there. Really a focal point to this street. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. And it's art. I think I'm gonna make that the thumbnail even actually. Even though the hybrid scrap that costs a million dollars is there. Whatever, it's not about that. C'est pas à propos de soda. Now if you haven't been here in a long time, you'll notice that they also redid a, a block or two on this street. Look, it's all tiled like this now. This must have cost must have cost fuck a hundred thousand dollars to do that. Oh now it's yellow. Red Lake District. This fucking La Belle Provence restaurant has been here for like forever, it seems. It must have been here. I, I remember eating there once even with my friends like back like 20 years ago. Anyway, moving along. Moving along. Moving along. Maybe we'll see a couple of cool cars. I don't know. It's Friday night. Weather's still decent. People are still uh, out with their motorcycles, brave enough to brave the cold there when it's, it's not too cold. You know? This also right here, this is an old, I don't even know what the hell this building is. There's an old Vanagon uh, for you fans there. Oh yeah, 370s, that very nice, very nice. Oh crap, the fucking wind is coming from the south. That's not good for me. Hey, I'm not dressed for it. As you can see, because it was 18 degrees when I left, and uh, friggin', uh, friggin' the wind's coming from the south. I don't even know if you're gonna fucking be able to hear everything I, I say. I'm gonna have to be the walker, backwards walking man, as usual. Check that out. That is a Montreal landmark. That is the oldest strip club in the city. I suppose one day I'll go in there, you know, with a friend. I'll go in there with my friend Joe or something. And then his wife will find out and she'll fucking want to divorce him or something. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that, but anyway, whatever. I love vintage signs. Look at that, eh? They don't make them like that anymore. What a contrast with that atrium building, too, you know? Look at this place, is famous, too. Montreal fucking pool room. But that's funny because there's another one on uh, uh, Mont Royal and uh, Iberville. Never even eaten there. I've never even been there. Anyway. So yeah, it's a mix of old and new on this part of the street. Whoa, man, that's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a lovely evening. I had a bus driver one time, he shouted out to me. He was watching my videos. He was driving this, the Arctic's, uh, Arctic STM uh, scrap on this line. Look at that, that's beautiful lighting. Check that out, uh, showing the historical buildings. Anyway, continuing on south here, and we're going right now, we're heading towards, uh, well, we, virtually, you're heading with me towards Chinatown. Or as it's known in French, Le Quartier Chinois. So, a little French lesson for you, right? Chinois is French for Chinese. Chinese, Chinois. There you go. Hey, look at that beauty, huh? Woof. Dig it. That's fucking cool too, actually. I like that. A lot of beautiful lights in the street. It's one of the things I love about Saint Laurent. 
This is really cool though with the lighting. I love shit like that. Love that. Love it. It's funny because they had a building. I thought like this the other on the other side with this kind of a lighting shining down on the sidewalk. I thought it was on the other side. Oh, whatever. All this talking and walking is making me hungry. For you are a magnet and I am steel. For you are a magnet and I am steel. Whoa, look at that huge bus. Oh, I missed it. I don't know what it was. And there's the famous Chinatown structure given actually by the Chinese in the 80s, I think it was. If you know the exact year, please feel free to comment. I love positive comments from people and encouraging comments and appreciative comments. And I don't want to hear any shit from people unless, of course, it has bearing. And, you know, when, uh, you know, YouTube started, uh, you know, making announcements, asking people to be nice and all that. Well, yeah, because they're tired of YouTubers like me complaining about all the bullshit negative comments from people. Listen to this. I even had a comment recently. This guy watched this walking video. I don't know where the fuck. Somewhere near my neighborhood. I don't know. Notre Dame Street. This is René Lévesque Boulevard, by the way. The guy, you know what he says? He says, oh, gee, I wonder how many kids were molested at that school. Oh, the good old days. What a fucking loser. I should have reported him. I banned him from making any comments on my channel. Okay? And I'm thinking to myself, and I was telling a couple of friends, I'm like, this guy's either a sick fucking mind or he's making a really horrible joke. I mean, really, people are fucking nuts today. Don't worry, if you think you're weird, there's always, I guarantee there's something much weirder than you out there, trust me. Like this guy who watches my videos, he keeps asking me when I'm gonna film elevators, and I check out his channel, he's filming fucking toilets flushing, for Christ's sake. Toilets! Nobody wants to see that shit, literally. It takes all kinds, man. It's like I sing all the time in my videos, you know, it's like the Robert, Robert Plant, where Robert Palmer would sing, it takes every kind of people. And it takes a lot of patience when you're writing these fucking things. Anyway, that's the way it goes. So now we're in beautiful Chinatown. This is a must-see sector of the city if you come here. You got these beautiful, ferocious-looking lions here. And I forgot you got this gorgeous mural here, but you can't see it too well because it's nighttime. Oh, Porsche Boxster. I'm gonna take a break here for a minute because I filmed a lot of responses around here. So, man, you think there's enough buses to stop here? Whoa, daddy. All right, so uh, it's not warm anymore, so I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm going to keep floating southward here in Chinatown and then, uh, then go home. Uh, probably. And the battery's dying. Okay. Look at this. This is a ridiculous vehicle. It's a fucking Nissan. It's a Ford. Who fucking... What, what kind of genius thought of making this vehicle? It's, it just doesn't make any sense. It's no wonder you don't see too many of them, you know? Like, really. It's stupid. Man, uh, man, these LED lights, it's amazing how much they light things up. I think I only made one walking video in this area at night one time. That's another reason why I'm doing this, actually, because things, you know, that's what's cool. When you appreciate photography or film and observing things, you like to, it's cool to capture things. And you've been doing things as long as me, to, to do them at night, to do them in the daytime, in the sunshine, different lighting, in the snow. Oh, this place is the place to be. Look at this, La Capital Tacos. And there's a lineup like fucking Schwartz's for crying out loud. Must be fucking good. Must be giving them away. I know, I know, I'm a true Bulgarian. I'm sorry, it's a, uh... oh, nice Cadillac. Nice caddy. Probably a piece of junk though, unfortunately. Saw a couple of damning videos of people at Chevrolets there and, uh, uh, you know, Equinox and all that. They were not impressed. They were not pleased. Dealer service was crap. The vehicles were fucking shite. I don't feel like going into them, into it all, but, uh, you know, as, uh, as you hear more than ever in the expression, it is what it is. And as we say in French, c'est ça qui est ça. This is a fucking joke, really. I, 
it doesn't get more cheap than that, really. But then again, I'm old school, me, you know? Oh, Kung Fu! Hey, look at that, a Land Rover with fucking color. That's cool, man, beautiful color. I like that, I dig it. Right on. Oh, more colors, right on. Jesus Christ, I was in Montreal West earlier. I couldn't fucking believe every car was colorless. Every one of them. Nine out of ten. Restaurant chez Maxime. Yeah, I think I ate here once, a long time ago, with a clique of friends of mine. You know, I think this is still... I don't know, it still seems a little too bright for my taste, these lights here. I don't even have it on auto white balance. I'm gonna change that. I gotta change the battery anyway, so... Okay, that looks better there. That looks better. Not perfect, but it looks better. Man, I'm telling you, I heard a supercar somewhere down there. I could be wrong, but it sounded pretty hot. Look at how much more beautiful this looks now. I got it on the uh, cloudy setting. Bunch of people crossing, I believe that's De La Cathedrale there. That's another street to really check out uh, if you come here. Again, more beautiful lights here in Chinatown. Very nice. Let's keep floating on here. This looks like an STM ad, for Christ's sake. Anyway. Oh boy, who's all these people? This is gonna make me hungry, you know? Come to think of it, I haven't eaten, uh, I haven't eaten then since I, I haven't eaten since, uh, since, uh, two o'clock or so. Look, there's a, I keep forgetting, there's another Chinatown structure right over there even. It'd be cool if uh, be cool if an oldie came by right now, you know, something something of a vintage. Right on, floating along, continuing uh, continuing along here. Hmm. Ooh, that's a herbs, herb store. See, a little more for Frenchness and magazine is store. Herbs is herbs and Azzy is Asia. Huh? There you go. Oh man, what the hell am I doing here? Now I'm gonna wanna go eat Chinese food. I'm too poor right now. That reminds me. If you wanna send me a donation, you appreciate what I do. You know I'm a real and I keep it on a level. I'm just an honest poor man but rich in culture and, and, and knowledge of various subjects. If you want to uh, look at the lineup here even, holy mackerel. Wow. You want to send me something, a little gift, a little donation? Uh, well, you know, you can send me that by, uh, of course, uh, PayPal or an e-transfer at my email, which is eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. Elton, like Elton John, McFall, spelled like it sounds, M-C-F-A-L-L, -L, eltonmcfall at hotmail.com. And I really appreciate it. I thank you in advance. And uh, what else do I want to say? And if by any chance you want to send me that by mail, you don't want, you don't like this banking online or whatever PayPal e transfer, well, just send me a comment and I'll shoot you my e my address, my physical address. And say they got a little shopping mall here, a little shopping mall action. And then there's the uh, other. I guess you could say also the introduction to uh, the entrance, if you will, to uh, Chinatown here in Montreal, right here. Yeah. Now it used to be a, no, a very old building here that burned down a few years ago, right here, man. Maybe it was deliberately set, you know, to build condominiums. It's not impossible. That's been done before. It's nothing new. You know, and the property's worth a fortune. You know, these developers are fucking developers are fucking dying to get their hands on these places. You know what I mean? They'll do what, it, what they can sometimes. It's the almighty fucking dollar, man. The almighty powerful dollar. Okay, so that's that for Chinatown. And then after that, down this way, continuing south, is Le Vieux Montréal, which is old Montreal. 
but we're not gonna go down there. I'm gonna save that for another time. And uh, this tree here is uh, Saint Jacques. Sorry, Saint Antoine. Nice truck. Oh, that's a nice truck. And that's it, man. Anyway, it's not getting warmer either, so I think I'm going to uh, walk another block here. And this over here is Highway 20. Oh, that's a nice rig there. And there's a fire station over there. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll... Uh... Oh, man, there's a spot on my camera here. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, like I said, maybe if I'm lucky, I could get a... Fire trucks responding from Fire Station 20, which is over there. Kind of complete. Uh, it'd be great to complete what I filmed. Other fire trucks responding today. Uh, today being Friday, uh, October 11th. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to show the kick-ass mural of the MR73, the vintage MR73 Metro here. I gotta show you that. Actually, we're gonna. I'm not gonna stop at the corner. I'm gonna stop over here. I gotta show you guys. This is so fucking cool. It's just a great way to end it with a bang. And also, look, you got the skyline here of the city, a partial view. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. That's awesome. That's fucking beautiful. And this is over here. This building, uh, part of the building over here, is the. Uh, old brewery mission so that's it boys and girls hope you enjoyed this thing like i said you want to send me something i really appreciate it i'm not exactly fucking big time here i'm trying to be but uh hey i'm not a model i'm not politically correct and i swear so you know if i had if i could not be any of those things i'd have fucking 55,000 subscribers or 100,000 or whatever there you go and you know what speaking of being by the old brewery mission which helps out people who are homeless as you can see over here hey Make a difference if you've got a few bucks to spend. Never mind me. Help those people out. Send them a fucking donation. Send them $25. Like I saw one time, they had an ad to go to give them a meal and all that, you know? Yeah, I'm serious. They used to have an ad. 20, send them $25 and they'll be able to feed somebody for like a week, apparently, on $25. I'm glad I thought of it, you know? There you go. Maybe I should, that's my new, my, should be my new fucking point now is making more of a difference in people's lives instead of just things, things, things. All I've been filming is things all the fucking time. Anyway, guys, but that's it. I appreciate you watching and uh, look forward to any of your positive comments. Take care. Bye-bye.